This is the top 10 guns of COD Mobile Season 2. And is it just me or did Season 1 last like one week? Either way, coming in last is Krieg. And I know it seems weird to say last because technically this is a top 10 best guns list, but the weapons on this just get so good increasingly fast that I feel fine saying that the Krieg is last. Don't get me wrong, with its recent buffs, it's actually a great weapon. But as I've said many times before, if you don't have the Mythic or a Legendary with a good Iron Sight, you're gonna have to use a Red Dot and that's gonna just be annoying. Which you may also find yourself needing for the number nine spot, which is the new Man of War. This thing just got a massive buff for its headshot multiplier. And it seems like Call of Duty are going down the route of sponsoring today's video, which you can download at the top of the description, but also the route of having two shot ARs, which is crazy because the Man of War was part of that three shot AR meta back in 2020. And now it's had a resurgence with the two shots. There's another gun on this list, which is exactly the same. Here's a bunch of guns that I feel like are okay right now. And I would listen to you fight me on the fact that they should be somewhere on the list, but I personally just don't think they deserve to be there. However, number eight is two SMGs that we've talked about very many times. However, they're very far down the list compared to other seasons. That's the PP-19 along with the CBR. The CBR meta lasted probably longer than any other gun has ever been at the top four. And the PP-19 has been by its side with a bigger magazine capacity, but weirder feel to weapon. If you're watching my top 10 guns for the first time, you'll not know this, but I just don't include snipers on it anymore because if snipers were included, they would absolutely kill the top five. So some that I would recommend are the brand new Outlaw. I say brand new because it was newly buffed along with the DLQ, the XPR, the SVD, Koshka, and Locus. If you're hard scoping across the map, you might as well just use the ZRG while you're at it. An assault rifle that I'm so happy is moving back up the rankings is the M13. As it got buffed last season and then is getting buffed again this season. Back to back. But it already was a fairly decent assault rifle before this. Like I always say, if you're double stacking, you're going to be packing up your opposition. The UL is a dark horse option. And I was debating putting this in a top five underrated best guns video, which I will do this month, of weapons that are so good, but just nobody uses and are slightly outside that top 10 range. But the UL is getting used quite a lot, at least in my personal rank games for people who like to camp at the back of the map. However, the last close range honorable mention has to go to the Switchblade. As although this is a close range killer, I can't help but feel like it's now an SMG filler. Something you use when you want to fill up your time while also not using the best option. Testing out to be quirky or to say that you're against the meta seems to be quite common when you're using this thing. However, number five is a gun I've loved for years and one that you should too. The Deadly DRH. In fact, I love it so much we even have our own Ferg skin for it called the Ferg's Nooker. As this was also part of that three tap meta and now it's been revolutionized to be part of the two tap meta as well. Joining the HVK and Manivore at the top of that echelon. In fact, the DRH is so good with OTM mag that it's been banned from any competitive series tournaments. However, I do feel like the number four spot Growl is still slightly better than it. Will it stay above it for the remainder of this season? I'm not sure. The DRH might go up a couple more spots on my list. For now, it's still ahead of it. Similarly to the Kilo. I mean, this thing has been in the top five since it was released. It's never dropped out of it. And in my opinion, it's one of those guns that is really good, but also not annoying. So I can't get mad at COD Mobile for not nerfing it, buffing it, changing much about it because I enjoy it. And I don't really get mad about dying to it either, which I can't say about the Finnick, which just so happens to be our number two spot and also the best SMG in the game entirely. You see this used a bunch in COD Mobile Masters, the championship for last year, and it's still used today. It had a very sharp resurgence where everyone was using the Switchblade for a while and with the snap of everyone else's fingers, we all switched to the Finnick. Unless you're using a shotgun, it's going to have like the fastest time to kill in the game. Our last honorable mention has to go to the SKS for obvious reasons. I mean, it's been sensational since release. But something that has had many ups and downs since we first seen it is our number one gun for this season, the HVK. Subscribe and live with purpose.